What is going on, YouTube? Derbador the world over here. Y'all wouldn't believe it. Look at what showed up in my front yard. It is just, there is just that much going on right now. I was literally just putting a fender on the truck, and then all of a sudden, these haulers are like, yeah, we got this truck that's got to be fixed. ASAP. Well, actually, this trailer's got to be fixed ASAP. And it's too big to fit in my little dinky yard. So I'm just going to work on it out here at the road. Yeah, here we go. And Lord behold, would y'all check that out. That's pretty, ain't it? This is going to be fun. That's going to be lots of fun right there. So, I set up cones out here. There's some cones back there. I'm in my full PPE. I ain't got my vest on. But none of my neighbors run me over. Because they probably don't appreciate this too much. But they're just going to get over it. Okay. But, so, since this is a clean break all the way through that thing, I've got to... I actually have to cut the top deck off just to get to the top side of this square tube. Yeah, I feel like tripping. Yeah, that's when this nice little ladder comes in handy. And yeah. The fun. They dropped the trailer and they're going to get the oil change in their truck. This is awesome. This, you know, uh, it does, as much as I try to do really good work, it, it, it does kind of suck. Then I'm going to sit right over you. There it is, right there. And see through the little hole. See, they had the back, the side, just behind it, replaced it, broke there, and, it's, and reinforced here. And then it snapped right there. I'm going to figure something out to reinforce this side. Try and keep this from happening again. But yeah, I'm going to cut that out and call it out, call it out a done deal. I got a bunch of eight inch tread flat hanging out. Yay! <laughs> Here, let me see that camera. Hey, you got. There you go. I want to show it. This uh, cracked fix. Oh shit, it's cracked. <laughs> Just a little crack. Nah. That's where they fixed it before. It's cracked here before then. Yeah, it cracked behind it. They fixed it there and then it cracked up here. So... Yeah, it, it changed the pressure points. I have to reinforce this too. Right. The question is, where is it going to put the pressure next? And can Further we, up. Can we reinforce that in advance? I'm going to reinforce as lengthwise as much as I have material for. 
That sounds like a plan. Okay. This is the exception. You don't never ever do this with a cutting wheel. This is the exception that I take a, a guard off and you've got to be very careful about it. You don't want to test the limit. Yep. Much trial and error, found a spot to pull it down and get it back level, just like it's supposed to be. There we go. See, ratchet strap. They come in handy. Scratch it back. worse it could be the quick connect came undone <laughs> it could, inside it could be yes it could that's be us Watch your strap. my helmet was still on grind mode after discussing the fact yes. that you must reset it yes you failed to and reset i it. still forgot to reset it that nothing like that first thing in the morning Look, I'm almost a pipe welder. <laughs> I'm not quite. Almost, not quite. Almost. I'm gonna tack it the same over here. And as I'm welding it up, I'm almost keyholing straight into it. I'm jamming this rod in there and forming that keyhole just so I have a good root. It ain't got to be like high perfect but it's best to go for that as much as possible. Oh beautiful. 
These are actually going to turn out. This is going to turn out really good. Now this one's going to be a butt pain. This one's all opened up. So since this is all opened up, what we're going to do is we're actually going to run a bead down each side to close it up some. Maybe even just one side will do it. That right there, just real quick. Where's my, um, where's my chipping hammer at? Uh, right ah, there it is. Thank you, Sa. That's a quick downhill right there. And another quick downhill over here. And I'm going really fast. Are just to build up those corners. Those edges are already bridging a little bit right there. Now, run maybe one, two more, and they'll bridge right together. This works. And just take it slow. Make sure you clean it up just like this. This is going to get ground down. I'm going to throw 7018 over it. So this is just to get that welded up. didn't end too well. I was so close, yet so far. So close, yet so far. Where the other welder grounded to. Hey. <laughs> See, I should if I had seen that earlier, I would have just grounded off right there. Ah, uh, last now they have two scars. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Found a little bondo. What <laughs> <laughs> bondo? <laughs> bondo. Slap the bondo on it before we paint it. Barry, you never know we were here. Slap bondo over the welds. Yeah. Fill in fill in the undercut with bondo. <laughs> That's not, that, that's not a recommendation, guys. <laughs> We're just fucking around. does not taste good. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got that on camera. There's no, there's no stage in that. I kept my mouth closed. Mouth 
close that time. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Here we go. I think we got it that time. That's that little divot from where yeah. I ended. It's not porous, that's just the slag. 6011 leaves oh, funky. Oh, right 6011 right. leaves slag. funky slag. So it's 6010. Especially when you're doing a root pass like this. Because you're trying to weld the inside from the outside. Right. I just closed my eyes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fun trying to get this bottom here. This is gonna be really fun. Punched right in. That was beautiful. You hand me my chipping hammer, sir. It's up there somewhere. Thank you, sir. Let's see how well it looks. Ah! That's about what you're looking for. But once we grind it out, it'll be ground down to a bevel again and weld up with good meat. See? Now, ground down. Now we can take our 332nd 7018 and start filling it up here. Because it's not too yeah. through here. Fuck. No respect for the fact that... See, that's why I don't bother with the don't get run over vest, because it doesn't work. I just locked the road in my car. Apparently, well, one of these should not get fucked up. Boop! We just burnt a hole in it. Of ah, course. Ah, shit. How did I... Uh, how am I not surprised, though? Oh, it's not. It shouldn't be much of a surprise. That's not what's coming. Thin and lacking. But we'll let that cool. I'll go to another spot. Yeah. Yeah. Beat the slag off on the trailer. Gas in it. Gotta go buy gasoline. It's the flooring part. This is called. This is the only reason this machine has shut off on me so far. Oh goodness. Do not there we refill go. while hot. Fuck that. I got work to do. <laughs> it ain't, at least it ain't like the Blue Star. I'm gonna It'll stand be, back here. You explode by yourself. Wham! 
Look, I got two. Oh, uh, there's an oxygen bottle there. It doesn't matter how far away I go. <laughs> Goes the whole block. I always did want to go out with a bang. <laughs> Perfect to finish up. Okay. Oh, it's such a pass. opportunity to try out my burn bar I made. Kind of a, a derb rendition of Bob Moffitt's burn bar from weld.com. A little gap there to let all the gases flow, but it's still a nice straight edge for your cut. See how this turns out. I ain't, I haven't had a good chance to use it until now. Run along it. Oops. Whoops. See, it helps when you pay attention. Yeah. You know, just because yeah, you have a burn bar doesn't mean you know what you're doing. I mean, paying attention helps with just about everything. Shut yes. up. Really? I just remembered why I don't wear Crocs to do this kind of job anymore. Damn, you wore a crop. What the fuck? Well, to be fair, I wouldn't expect a trailer to show up today. <laughs> I was expecting to be doing auto work. Me too. I got fenders to put on. But I also need money to finish the painting the hood, so, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. I ain't gonna worry about burn bar for this part. Well, we're probably cutting one of those off anyway. So. But yeah, that's it guys. I mean, you know, ain't, ain't gotta be pretty or nothing like that, but you wanna do your best to try and get, you're working on something like that. You wanna do your best to try and get complete penetration on it. Um, you know, with the 6011s, it doesn't have to be pretty. That first pass at the 6011, you're just trying to get that keyhole and work in it like so. You're welding the inside of it from the outside. You're trying to make it one whole piece again, not a, piece with you know a little half or quarter of the size of it welded together with that much sticking up on top you don't want that you want to make it one whole piece again that's the, that's why i ground it down and use the 6011s to try and punch in there and get that keyhole running almost like what you would do on pipe not as strict but you definitely want to go for that if you can or try to go for that as much as possible all right so that's how i fix trailers like this and, you know, if y'all like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And y'all have a fantastic day.